Hi everybody, my name is Heather, I'm with Creepy Holiday Stuff. So I have been asked quite a few times um, on what kind of boxes I use to ship my styrofoam head art and how I package them and everything. So I promised to do a video, so here it is. So I have um, Penny. Penny is going to be in my Halloween auction that is coming up August 28th at 1 o'clock. It's a Facebook Live, um, but I thought I would use her as an example. So we're going to package her. I buy all my boxes from Uline. It's U-L-I-N-E. I'm assuming it's pronounced Uline. Could be Unline, but I think it's Uline or Uline. I don't know. I call it Uline. They are 9 by 9 by 12. You can buy these in 25, 50, uh, whatever you want. I usually get, uh, before my auctions, I usually get a, a 50. So I just fold the bottom. And I use my shipping tape. Let me just get this bottom part. And you want to cross that seam there. And then one this way. Before I put her in the box, I use tissue paper. I like to use tissue paper to protect the head. Um, I put a lot of time, a lot of love into all of my creations. And I want to make sure that what I create gets to the buyer in great, excellent condition, the way it left my house. That's my intentions anyway. Um, unfortunately, things can happen at the post office, but the way I package my items, I package it with the possibility of knowing that something could happen at the post office to help protect it more. Okay, so I wrap tissue paper around the head and then I use just a little bit, a little bit of tape. I don't put it on super tight because I have lashes on there and stuff, so I'm very careful. After that, and for those of you that have purchased from me, you know, you get tons of shipping, shipping material. Because I like to over ship, I mean over package, just to play it safe. So, I will wrap the head. You know, a few times, I go around a few times, and then I will flip it. And then I will go around this way. I know you're probably thinking, well, that's overkill. No, not really, because I want it to get to you safe. Okay. Another piece of tape. Feels pretty safe already. And then I pop it right in there. Then, I save for my own packages, like stuff I get from Amazon or whatever I order from. I save these big old bubbles. And, uh, I collect them all year. I love them. They work great. And so, depending on how much bubble wrap, sometimes I wrap even more. It just depends. I will stick these on the inside. Oh down my face. This corner there. Just for that extra protection. If for some reason I don't have these, I'll take the bubble wrap, crinkle it up, and shove it in there. I always put it on top. And then I take a really nice thank you card. I always want to show my appreciation with a thank you card. Um, and I sign it inside, pop it in there, seal it. I take my fragile handle with care and I stamp it. If I don't use this, I'll use stickers that say fragile. Um, I do not rely on the post office because when you go to the post office, if you're gonna ship directly with them, 
and you say, hey, can you stamp it with a fragile? They'll just kind of go really fast and it's so dull, you can't even really see it. So I do all my printing of labels and everything at home. I use Pirate Ship. Um, that's it. I will tape, um, I will actually do a, a strip here of tape. Then I'll put my shipping label. I, sh I tape all around my shipping label and across the address. I don't go over any of the little code bar thingies just the name and that's it and hopefully it makes it safely to where it's going to go i hope this helps